Oh, hey, today we're doing the most shocking thing on earth. <gasps> Painting a wall white. <laughs> Welcome back to a very exciting episode of Laugh Cry DIY. I am Katie. And I am Cry. This is channel best friend Rachel, who you might remember from this video and this video, and especially our kitchen makeover that we did with her, which was the first kitchen makeover on my channel. Today, guys, we are not doing anything exciting. We are painting Rachel's entire apartment white because sometimes you gotta sin. <laughs> the biggest sin on this channel is painting something white, but it needs to be done. Rachel has recently undergone something that is very common. Her roommate moved out, and now it's time to reassess, revise, re reimagine the space. Reimagine the space. And to do that, we're gonna start with a clean, fresh coat of white paint. Get ready with my apartment to change. Yes. Get ready with us as we change my apartment. This is a follow-up video to the episode I recently released, which was basically the Lazy Girl's Guide to Painting. If you don't know how to paint a room, I shared a bunch of tips, super helpful. I will link that below. It did change my life. It changed Rachel's life. It changed her future. It changed her past. It changed my past. <laughs> it changed it all. I met my husband after that video. <laughs> yes. He worked at the paint store. So honestly, that's all we're doing today, guys. We're hanging, we're painting, and if you want, come along with us. Boop! Okay. <laughs> so here's the deal. We're repainting Rachel's whole living room because this is one of those apartments that's had many owners, many colors, many hands on it, and we are like excavating paint colors as we go and seeing like white, under black, under green. It's very like Roman archeology span at this point. And what we're dealing with is we just wanna reset the room. So that's why we're doing a crisp white, which is usually not something I do on my channel, but because we wanna, may, we may or may not be making over this space and Rach has a vision for it being a pop art gallery of my dreams. Pop art gallery. So we need the crisp white to let the colors pop. And also what we're dealing with right now is what I would call dingy cream. It's Thank you. That, and this was my choice. <laughs> it was, was her original choice. Because my ex, who I've lived here with, said, I do not want white walls. And I was like, well, I'm not living in hunter green. <laughs> so we chose a cream-based color. Oh, you did choose this. That I did choose this. Okay. And then when he moved out and Chelsea, also channel best friend Chelsea, channel best friend Chelsea moved in, I manically repainted. Because when you live in a place for upwards of eight years, you get a lot of, like, scuff marks and you know furniture moving yeah. in and out your ex insists on being in a band that's not doing well <laughs> the instruments are like clanging around the apartment you really just need to reset the space also guys i talked about this in my painting video of tips but it was very important for us to choose the right color white because we have different facing walls and this is why you can get a, what looks like a really beautiful warm white in the store in the fluorescent lighting of the store and then you paint it and then it looks a little bit dingier than you'd like it to so as you can see, um, we swatched a lot. Rach swatched a lot. How was that emotionally for you? Challenging. You know, driving into a Home Depot parking lot is no small feat of any day. <laughs> no. And I learned that some of the whites that you want to test are, there's like not enough pigment for them to give you a sample size. So you have to get a pint size, which sounds so annoying, but truly was so worth it because I found a white that works for me. <laughs> And most importantly, it works in two different rooms with two different facing windows. So we wanted a neutral to um, clear the space. So that was friends. Right. Rach is edging the wall with an edger. And it's so important to get an edger in your life, guys. If you're not using one, you're an idiot. You're truly an idiot. Um, do you want to hear some fun paint facts, Rach? Katie, I've been dying <laughs> to hear your fun paint facts. OK, pop quiz, trivia. What year was spray paint invented? Oh, uh, 1928. Uh, Close. No, 1949. Damn it. I thought 1980, obviously, because that's when graffiti was invented. Well, that's why you Graffiti never happened anywhere ever before that. Did you guys know that the Barbie movie, they went through so much work to find the Barbie pink, the perfect Barbie pink, because apparently one doesn't exist. Like the brand Mattel does not have a signature color like the brand Tiffany does. The brand Tiffany has a signature Pantone color and it's a secret and you don't know, so you're not just gonna get Tiffany blue if you want it. Um, mm, Katie. Yes. Question back at you. If you were gonna have a signature pink color, what would my be? signature be? Ooh. Maybe think on it. I always gravitate towards pinks, teals, and jewel tones. So I'm gonna say pink with a turquoise shift. Ooh. And sun reactive to turn um, like a deep, deep midnight purple. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, mine is gonna be iridescent as well. Iridescent, yeah. I want, no, you know me, my, I love peacocks. I want a paint that is like 
all of the iridescence of a peacock. So from like royal blue to turquoise to gold. That would be, I want peacock paint. That'd be pretty. I love that. So anyhow, the Barbie movie, they had to choose their big array of pinks and it took them a lot. They talked about this on the Architectural Digest tour of the Barbie uh, movie set, but even the white in the movie is actually the lightest, lightest pink. So really gorgeous. But the specific pink they used, it was like in the middle of the pandemic and they completely depleted the company of the entire paint supply for that color paint. Another fun fact. <laughs> Please. This one, I've been waiting to tell you guys. This is so important for the DIY girls, for the Y2K girls. Okay, Jerry Spice, when they did the Brit Awards and she famously wore the Union Jack dress, which was a tea towel that she had put onto a Gucci dress the night before. So DIY queen. Wow. She wanted to wear her big giant boots, but they were black and she was like, I want them to be red to match my Union Jack outfit. Do you know what she did? Her dad was like a mechanic or worked in the auto industry. He had red automotive spray paint and her and her sister went the night before and they automotive spray painted her boots red. And thank God that was invented in 1949. Yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise they never would've been able to do that. How could they have done it? I mean, a DIY queen creating an iconic fashion moment with a fun DIY the night before. I love that. Fun fact, I was just telling Rach that I prefer to paint barefoot because when I paint in shoes and stuff, I can't tell if there's paint on my feet and how many times I've accidentally like tracked over a paint spot I didn't know happened on the floor. And then we all cry. So it's good to paint barefoot and then you can really be one with the wall, you know? But you can see, you can see the cream versus white. You can see why it was so important and why it changes things so much. And also we really need to get the right color in here because some of them felt like very like clinical. It was very like polar bear ice caps. Even though the color we did choose is um, polar, polar bear, polar bear by bear paint. Um, but it's actually, it, it works nicely in this room. Guys, fun fact about Rachel's door. It's a door from hell because it's metal. So it's we have metal. to prime this separately and specially to paint it. It's good to, painting is hell, but it's hell together. Also to prep this room, I think we had to do more prep than I've ever had to do on a project. We spent all last night taking shelves off the wall and patching years of traumatic, of traumatic events, traumatic anchorage, traumatic anchors, um, challenging curtain rod mounting, um, gallery walls. It was just a lot, but we're ready for a new us. Guys, we know you want some real good ASMR, ready? Name, name, name. <laughs> I'm say, we are delusional. That's not what I think. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, Rach holds the record for most popular video on my channel. And I think a lot of you guys probably found me because of our episode together. People are always like, it's so funny and all that stuff. And they were always like, you girls are so funny, instant subscribe. And then I feel bad that I'm like, it's my channel. Rach was just a guest on it. So I have to fight I, my way back. I feel there. like people are always like, where's the other girl that was made it really funny? She's back. <laughs> Keep requesting me in the comments. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> By the way, if you want paint, but you want to save money on paint and you just want a project or something, your hardware store usually has a section of accident whoopsie paint that was returned or was the wrong color. And you can buy that for much cheaper. By the way, the hardest part of this room is the formerly basically midnight purple black that this wall was. Um, as you can see, she's streaky, but I have to say, going from black to like a white coverage, this is one coat of this paint and primer, so not bad. Thank you, Bear. <laughs> also, do you guys want an update on how Rachel's Kitchen has held up since that video? Yes, please. Yes. Okay, you guys may recall that we contact papered all these cabinets green, contact papered them white, we added new floor tiles. And Rach, how is it holding up? Flawlessly. It's been almost three years, did you know that? Which is crazy. Which is crazy since we did that, with the exception of like a handful of like nicks and stuff when she like grabbed a knife and slashed a cupboard in Which anger. happens all the time. On Wednesdays. But otherwise like super amazing. With a good wipe down, I mean, pardon yeah. the fact that we're literally painting right now, but yeah. like really all I've had to do for maintenance is like wipe down the cabinets every now and again because they get like streaky from when I'm like washing dishes yeah. because I have to hand wash my dishes. Thank you so much, I do not have a dishwasher. <laughs> um, and like had to retighten one of the cabinets just because taking them off conjured the spirit of one of the ex-wives who was like, why are you in my kitchen? And so, yeah. you know, like just dealing with those minor inconsistencies uh, about being a young single woman living here. In the city. In the city, it's been great. 
And yeah. none of the floor tiles have popped off, and I have not tripped over any of them. And Very important. They have not killed anyone. And also, Rach has cool landlords. She's been in this apartment forever, so everyone's like, oh my god, what would the landlord say? Oh my god. Yeah. The landlord came over the next day and said, this is incredible. I can't, like, they literally, she was literally like, wow, this looks so good in here. God life, bless. Life hack, live in an apartment that has been standing for too long and probably should be torn down anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can just jazz her up as you want. But honestly, um, still one of my top 10 projects. I also, as we're talking about revising the room, I was even like, should we change the color of these bottom cabinets? To which I said, you're clinically Rach unwell. said, absolutely not. I'm yeah. exhausted yeah. already. Um, but I was like, it's not going to be that bad. But, you know, we'll see. So We're going to give it another month. I want to get the living room resettled. And then, who knows, maybe the Art Deco vibe will clash a little too much. We'll see. But yeah, we're doing great. Splotches of paint. Oh, way. great, great. I'm sorry. but No, it's so important to know. Is it? It's oh, yeah, no, it's on my nose. Okay, great. But then I'm like, that's I'm going to know it's real. And just a PSA for the decor world. You guys are cool. My subscribers are amazing, but it shocks me how when you're doing like a renter friendly makeovers, people act like you are killing puppies. Like people can get so angry at makeovers, at the paint color you choose, or like being a renter and swapping out hardware. They're like, if I was a landlord, I would kill you. And it's like, guys, there's war guys. <laughs> it's just a piece of hardware. <laughs> also, if I was a landlord, I would kill you. If you were a landlord, we would kill you yes. first. Think about that. I also want to say something very controversial about like, renters versus landlords. And I totally understand, like, of course, being a landlord is very expensive. Totally get it. You can have tenants from hell. But everyone on earth can say, have you ever had a landlord from hell? And every hand in the world goes up because everyone has had that. So let's just agree that renters and landlords can be from hell. Because people are just really dramatic about landlords versus renters. But I think it's very And I aspire to be a landlord. I told, look guys, I understand. I aspire to be a landlord. I aspire. <laughs> <laughs> you did not just say that. Not a landlord, a slumlord. <laughs> is every girl's dream. Also, shout out to the landlords who like do comment sometimes on my channel and are like, I would love if a tenant did this. Yeah, like Those me. are people who deserve to be landlords. <laughs> oh, you guys want to hear my worst landlord story? And I can say this because it's true and it is admissible in Please. court. Okay, I move into a place, right? Great, cute spot, super cool. I know the story. Yes, okay. I'm nice. I ask the landlord, hey, can I do removable wallpaper? And she's like, absolutely not. Don't touch anything, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. She has a son who is the property manager who lives on site, okay? It's very important. Her son is the property manager who lives on site with us. In the middle of pandemic, God bless, and we love, we love mental health advocacy. People suffer from mental illness, totally get it. He had a complete psychotic break, threatened to kill us all, was arrested by the cops, and was put in a psych hold um, because he was in our courtyard and he had a knife and was threatening tenants. I was gonna say us all meaning every tenant. Every tenant. Every tenant who is home because it is locked down. Okay. There is nowhere to go. I'm hiding in a closet with my cat baguette calling 911 because this guy is freaking out on everybody, okay? It was very traumatizing. And then uh, we call his mom after he's hauled away from the cops and we're like, hey, um, so just so you know, your you know son did threaten to kill us all. And also specifically, we were like, hey, can the guy who has keys to all of our homes and just had a psychotic break, can he maybe not have the keys to our homes and can we deal with this? And she was like, you guys are being so dramatic. You are causing problems. And if you guys don't like it, you can all move. Guess who moved? Half of the building moved within the next like two weeks. And the whole time, well, I'm hiding. Well, I'm hiding in the closet. In hiding. I'm in hiding. My thought the whole time was, and she wouldn't let me put up removable wallpaper. And she expects us to like deal with this. I mean, I know it's a sensitive situation, but also they were very racist. They would literally scream racist slurs. It I was, was, I was, it was, say, they, I, usually I am, I am a lady about drama, but these people were terrible. So finally we move out. I'm fighting for my life. Okay. To for get baguettes life. For baguettes life. For my, you guys don't understand baguette is a baby. She was, yeah, she was four months old. She didn't okay, I had a newborn. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding in a closet with a newborn. And so then I'm trying to get my deposit back and I'm and I'm becoming Elle Woods. I just was just like, give me, I broke my lease, give me my stuff back. I just, that's all I want. We want out. In the middle of this, guess who dies? The landlord. She up and died. She up and died. In the end, I did get the deposit back, but that is my worst landlord story. Do you guys have a terrible one? I know you do. Please comment below. Tell me your worst landlord stories. Or if you're a landlord who has a crazy renter and it was like drama, I'd love to hear that yeah. too. I but, will say in yeah. this building that I live in, I know that my landlords did have to evict the unit above me because they were hoarders. Yeah. And it was 
causing water damage in my bathroom. So it was like whatever was going on upstairs was impacting my life. But then the issues with the plumbing continued on for like a good year and a half afterwards. So fun. So like, have you ever seen those paint bubbles that form? Oh, and they're terrible. Yeah, you in one? your bathroom. Yeah, you like get a paint bubble. Uh, actually, in a future makeover yeah. of my bathroom, I'm sorry, but I will be showing you guys where the handyman came, popped the bubble, had to like repatch and repaint. <laughs> and truly manager special out of my bathroom but i was like this is, it was <sighs> okay, anyways okay like we're gonna paint <laughs> back to painting all right as i mentioned we have a moment of hell which is this metal annoying door so we have to prime it with something that's gonna stick to the metal and make the paint stick to it and that would be today we're using our bullseye primer this bad boy will stick to just about anything and look this is why you need to stir your paint Ugh, I opened it and that's what it looks like. And guys, my number one fave DIY tool to keep around and I hoard them is simple wooden chopsticks. Best, easiest thing for so many DIY things. It's truly great. This is gray and it's gray because it's what I had on hand. We're gonna do a semi-gloss white over it, but um, we gotta start this way. Let's do a time-lapse because they're so satisfying. All right guys, first coat's on, we're taking a break. Fun fact about me, an almond croissant, marzipan is my favorite thing, and in America, people don't usually use marzipan that much. Um, but this is an almond, like marzipan, strawberry jam croissant from Obet and Dell's. And also, hugely exciting thing. When Chelsea, Rachel's roommate, moved out, she took plates, and Rachel's like, I need new plates. You know what she got? Plates that literally match her wall color. You guys can't tell, but it's important to know. Rach is resting. How are you feeling, Rach? Good, I'm on the apps. I mean, I'm being horny on the apps, and by that I mean I'm looking at this epic 70s chrome chair on Facebook Marketplace. Okay, we're talking okay. about what to do on Rachel's wall, and she's having a crisis. I'm having a crisis because I think I've had a gallery wall, and then I've had another gallery wall, and now that I'm repainting, I'm like, do I want another gallery wall? And I already know what I would fill it with. I know the kind of art that I want, but then I found this incredible little three-piece shelving unit that's very pop art, very retro 90s. And I was like, I don't want to fall into the trap of a gallery wall. I feel like you walk in everyone's apartment and you know what you're going to have. An accent wall that is also a gallery wall and a velvet couch of some sort. <laughs> I am every bitch in Los Angeles. <laughs> Rach is also struggling because she wants pop art and she's kind of a Memphis girl, which I think we've talked about Memphis design before. It's real wild, but Memphis can really stray into like Toontown. Toontown Tacky. Toontown Rolling Tacky, Park. yeah. Um, and it looks like, I don't know, like a kid's play set. Yeah. Um, so we're just, it's a lot of struggling. We're trying to toe the line of like, yeah. I'm an adult woman. With style. With style. Not a and child not. with a clubhouse, <laughs> yeah. We're also looking for sculptural chairs, module chairs. Yeah. We just want cool and vibes, but it's a very, she's really struggling with the, the line of the aesthetic, so. That's why we may never actually do the makeover, but <laughs> we'll find out. Do you guys like my flower pants? I often get compliments on them and people are like, where'd you get your pants? And I'm like, honey, I painted them with a bunch of paint from a leftover project. And I highly recommend creating paint pants of your own because um, it makes you feel fun and creative. <gasps> Time to paint the second coat. How are you feeling, Rach? Great, honestly. I thought I was gonna be crying, screaming, throwing up, and I've only thrown up. So, no, I haven't thrown up. Um, feeling really good. Actually, this is coming together way faster than I thought it was going to. Yeah. Um, and feeling so grateful for our edging tool. Yes. I love to edge now. You can do so much, you can get so much done, and it all feels very even in a way that sometimes with the roller, I was telling Katie earlier that as I was rolling, I was seeing these like white gloopy lines coming through and she was like yeah because you're pressing too hard and i was like well it sounds like a you issue actually but it just evens everything out in a way that i don't need to you know be self-conscious of how strong i actually am if you guys also don't know rach lifts weights what's your max what a dumb question katie that's not even how you ask it no i'm kidding um i have been lifting weights since 2019 and i can currently deadlift 250 pounds and i can only squat 170 and i can bench like 125 once but I love it. It's very functional for things like carrying paint cans through Home Depot or lumber. <laughs> or if there's a body in a burning building, I can go get them. <laughs> Just the really functional things. Also, I'm sorry if you have to blur out my tip. Come on in. 
between the shots. I just, as I've been raising my arms, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not wearing a bra, and then I don't go do anything about it. I gotta say guys, this was like a midnight purple black wall, and like, look at that coverage. Wow, Maybelline could never. We're also at that point of painting where we're like, okay, we're ready to be done. And we have <laughs> still half the room to go. Plus trim. Plus trim. Plus trim. But we are trying to think about what to have for lunch. Guys, comment below. What do you guys think we should have? Italian, Thai, Japanese? Guys, I have to look at everything from a very deep angle. You can see where it's wet and where it's not. When you're doing white on white in a room that has uneven light, very difficult to see. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to announce that we decided what we're having for lunch. It's Italian. You were right if you commented Italian. And we are done. All we have left to do is a third coat on that big wall and all the trim. And are we gonna film that? We don't know, we might be a little bit tired. So to be honest, we might be calling it right here, but we want to say thank you so much for joining us on a very special, friendful episode of Laugh Cry DIY. Um, like I said, if you guys want to know paint tips, I released another video, which will be linked below, about just like helpful, handy paint tips if you want to paint a room yourself. In the meantime, um, stay cool. Stay cool. Find your local renters uh, union should you need help. Yes, <laughs> with tenancy laws. Um, you know, and until next time, we gotta go wash our hands. Bye. Bye.